Every time you do a project, deliver that project to your client, your client pays you, you get paid. Your client is happy, you are happy too. But not if it is the same, sometimes unusual things happen. You did everything right, you did exactly what your client asked for but your client is delaying your payments. You ask them again for the payment and your client is not responding. Then what to do? I'm showing you a quick trick on what to do with these type of clients. I will be doing it using Elementor Page Builder but this is just an idea. If you are using another platform, you can still do it by following this same technique. Now here we can see a beautiful WordPress website. Let's say I have made this for my client. Now here inside of this website, I need to insert some code. Let's now expand the Elementor Page Builder tab. So first here I'm searching for the HTML widget and you know you can put the HTML tag anywhere of your website because the HTML widget won't show on the front end. So here I can insert the HTML code anywhere of the page. Let's drop it. Now to get the code just go to jimfahaddigital.com I will put this page's link in the description. From that page here you can see it says vanish website js snippet. So from here I will be copying this whole code snippet. So let's just copy it. Let's copy the whole snippet. Now go inside Elementor page builder and paste the code inside here. Now have a look the website is vanishing instantly. Also here it says please pay your developer. So if your client doesn't pay you, client themselves and all their visitors will show this message above their website that will say please pay your developer. Then of course your client go back to you and you can get your all due payments from the client. But here you see the website start vanishing instantly but we shouldn't do that because we want to give them some time. So for that reason here if we have a look on this code, here you can see I have written first here a variable it says vanishing date and inside here you need to put the date and the date format will be first you need to write the year and then the month and then the day. So let's say if you want to select the vanishing date on 21st September of 2021 then here first 2021 is fine then 9 that means September and here instead of 11 I'm writing here 21. Now click on this green update button and then if we preview the page you see right now our website is looking perfectly but if your client don't pay you then after the vanishing date that you set to 21st September 2021 then their website will be vanishing like this. And by the way, after getting paid from your client, don't forget to remove the HTML snippet from inside of your website. And I know if your client is also an elementary expert, he or she can easily remove the code. But this is just an idea. If I get 500 likes on this video, then I will also show you how to insert this code more efficiently inside of WordPress core or how to write this code in another directory and inject that code inside the page. So even if your client is an elementary expert, they will never find the code until you get paid. So please like this video, share with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel and press on the bell notification icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. And if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. For now, bye-bye.